nature effortlessly creates really great and complex bioactive molecules. It's no surprise that chemists also make molecules. For the past 100 years, chemists have strived to make bioactive molecules with desirable and interesting properties. Most of the time, these molecules are found to exist in nature, but are generated in such small amounts that in order to get a single usable dose of the molecule, you might have to wipe out an entire species of the organism. This is less than ideal, so chemists from all around the world work independently and collaboratively to design chemical pathways that could lead to the creation of some of these great molecules. This is also known in organic chemistry as a synthetic strategy. First, a chemist starts off with a target molecule, a natural product that is shown to have desirable bioactivities, and usually, through the logic of retrosynthesis, devises a means of generating this natural product. It's no good if a chemist has to use equally scarce chemicals to make a target molecule. So it is very desirable, if not required, to be able to create a synthetic strategy that is derived from simple, commercially available chemicals, also known as a total synthesis. In order to create a successful synthesis, you need to make your synthesis as efficient as possible. Since every step in this chemical synthesis has a particular percent yield, it is important to either reduce the total number of steps or increase the overall percent yield for each step. This process is called optimization and is what synthetic chemists do after they've been able to generate a natural product from simple starting materials. Due to the chiral nature of our biology and the molecules created in nature, chemists have to stay on top of their game and maintain stereo control when creating a molecule with stereoisomers. So if you can isolate a natural product, synthesize it from simple commercially available chemicals, optimize the synthesis, and produce an optically pure stereoisomer, you are participating in one of the coolest things our human brains are capable of, organic synthesis. How do organic chemists figure out what reaction to use in synthesizing these complicated molecules? NO dimethyl hydroxylamine hydrochloride and react it with your favorite carboxylic acid derivative.